Africa kids doing good stuff. And I think you show us how individual responsibility is super important. And um, what I would like to ask you is, what's your take on participatory democracy? Uh, I'm personally coordinating two European citizen initiatives, which is a kind of a weak participatory democracy tool in the European Union. But uh, as Carola was saying, things are all together. So in our case, we have a ECI on the rule of law and the respect of uh, democracy and fundamental rights in the European Union. And the other one is about uh, carbon pricing and increasing taxes on emissions and then use the evidence for the ecological transition. So my question to you is, what do you think about uh, uh, initiatives led by citizens uh, that can support the change in the institution and at the same time connect citizens uh, and maybe together with civil disobedience and other type of initiatives that can lead to a change. So I would love to know what's your take on these type of actions. Thank you. My name is Virginia. Hmm? Well, I personally think that's a great initiative because one of the problems I've seen within the so-called democratic states is that there's actually way not enough possibility for citizens to engage really in a practical sense in forming legislation and being part of discussing the individual solutions. Mainly we're, well, very often we're just down to voting, so we go and vote every four years. And if you think of um, countries maybe like Switzerland, um, you are able to ask on certain, uh, to, to answer on certain policies, but it's always like yes or no questions. And we all know that politics are extremely complex and there's often no uh, yes or no to an answer. So uh, participatory uh, democracies and deliberating complex problems with a group of people and aided by experts who show you these different sides and really getting to talk through a topic over a longer time frame, I think is a very, very good idea to engage citizens. And I've been personally also thinking about that a lot when I was thinking about uh, how we're going to manage, for example, the global commons, because we kind of see these projects, I think, um, a bit working a bit more easily, maybe at a local context, maybe starting that off as a, at a council or maybe already at national level. But we also have to think towards the future, like the whole world is globalized now. If we're talking about the global atmosphere, if we're talking about the high sea, who is actually going to manage these global commons? And I think um, engaging citizens more into the actual stewardship and taking care of the planet is incredibly important. Um, I'm, re I'm really sorry. I see still a lot of hands and we have 10 minutes left. <laughs> um, 